Today I want to walk through how to quickly get started with the Obsidian Clipper plugin. The quickest way to start is to clip to your daily note. Let's go over how to configure Obsidian Clipper and install the bookmarklet. First, we need to decide if there is a specific level one header in our daily note we want to collect clippings under. Technically, a header isn't required and clippings will be appended to the note's end or the beginning of the note, depending on the position setting. The position setting controls where to put the new clippings, either append to the end or prepend to the beginning of the section, ensuring that the last clipped item is on top. In this case, I want my clippings to go under the clipped level one heading. And I like to have the last clipping prepend to the top of the section. Next, we need to decide if you'd like to have the daily note opened after clipping. In this case, I'm going to stick with the default of no. The template configuration option allows us to override the format of the clipping before it is added to the daily note. We will use the default options for now, but I will provide an example of how to override the template in just a few minutes. Now that we have the base configuration options configured for the daily note, let's install the bookmarklet by going to the browser tab and dragging the bookmarklet link to our preferred browser's favorites bar. In my case, I'm going to drag it to Safari. All right, now the bookmarklet is installed. To use the bookmarklet, we can just go to some website that we want to collect some data. In this case, I'm going to grab this tax bracket information and click the bookmarklet. In Safari, you could see a pop-up dialog asking if you want to allow this website to open Obsidian. In Mac OS versions before Sonoma, this dialog would show up every time. But in Sonoma, you could choose to always allow, which I have already done, so that's why the dialog box didn't show up in this case. Other browsers like Chrome provide an always allow option. So let's check out what got clipped. In this case, it created my daily note. And under the clipped section, it added the tax bracket information that I was looking for. So let's add another clipping. In this case, I'm going to grab the single filers bracket. Pull this in. Click the bookmarklet. And you can see that it was added to the top as expected. So let's say we're not happy with the default template. Here's an example of how to override the template. To start, we'll grab an example of the default template by following this link and copying the data from there. This is just an example of how the default works. Then we're going to create a template under my templates folder. I'm going to call it clipper template. And you can paste that data in there. Now, obviously, this wouldn't change anything because it's the exact default. What I am going to do is, is I'm going to copy some other data and show you all the different options that you have in a template. In this case, you'll have a variable for title, the URL of the website, the tags that you have configured, the time of the clipping, the date of the clipping, and then any highlighted content. So now let's go grab some information and see how the clipping looks now. So I'll scroll down here and just grab some of this data here. I'll even grab an image. We'll see how that works out. Oops, I didn't configure it properly. So let's go back and tell Obsidian Clipper to use my new Clipper template. In this case, I'm going to go and select, or it's actually a type ahead. So in this case, templates, clipper template. All right. So now we can see it used our template. I have the title, the URL, the tags, the time, the date, and then the markdown content. 